So inside the Axis B, there's a couple different circuit boards. I guess technically there's three. Uh, to get the actual synthesizer board out, first you got to come around back and remove additional screws there that provide the support um, to the board, but also to make sure all the jacks are held securely in. Now there's two ribbon cables attached to the board. Uh, one is for the LCD. That one's a little harder to get out. And then this one is really quite easy to get out. It's essentially like a 40 pin uh, IDE cable. Um, they're used in the Ultra Nova, uh, here in the Axis B, used of Raspberry Pis, you name it. Uh, it's easy to just slide out. For this guy, I ended up using progressively larger and larger pairs of screwdrivers and getting them inserted in the gap and twisting them together to force out the uh, other end of the cable. So I eventually had to get up to, well, these guys. It's pretty big screwdrivers to get them out. But that got it to come out nice and gradually without tugging at it, and it's out. Now, one thing I don't like is it looks like they soldered onto the uh, the leads from the, the rocker switch for the main power. So I think I have it out enough, though, to get at the capacitor, which I believe this is the one that people say is the problem. Uh, my problem is my modulation lights come on, the system will boot up, but then you hit it with MIDI and it just goes back into a reboot. So people say this capacitor is a problem. Can't tell by looking, so I'm just going to have to go with it, remove it, and uh, test it and see what happens.